Hi guys, good morning. Today you're going to learn about the dip switch or what is known as the dual inline package switch. So this dual inline package switch is what you guys are going to learn how to integrate today. So this dip switch actually has four different switches on it. Okay, so here's how you're going to put this circuit in to make it happen. So the very first thing that you're going to do is you are going to put... Um, you're going to have to power up your breadboard, so you're going to add power to your breadboard. You remember, your power is coming all the way up here. So then you're going to have to do a line of four resistors that are going from the positive leg of your, of your breadboard, and they're going into a row, four, four rows of the breadboard. One side of your breadboard, if you guys look here, one side of the breadboard is going to go on one side of the bridge, the other side of the breadboard is going to go on the other side of the bridge. Does not matter which side is which. The way that I did this is I did the the on and the DP towards the resistors, and I did the off side of the switch placement towards the LED lights. What that's going to do is that's going to force you to use power across both sides of the board. And so what's going to happen now is with my resistors here, and just to make sure that you guys know that the ver resistance can vary, some of you are saying, okay, well, I don't have enough 220 ohm resistors. I lost a few of them. I've decided today to use 100 ohm resistors, which you guys could use 100 ohms. So you guys could use 100 ohms to 220 ohms. You guys could even go with the 470 ohm resistors. You just need to use your color code chart to find out which resistor is going to work best for your circuit. So then, because you have that range with the LED lights of the, of the voltage that you can do. So then what you're going to do is you place your dip switch in line. And your dip switch, if you look at it, and I'm going to pull this one out so that you guys can see it, has got uh, two lines on it. And so what you're going to do is you're just going to put that down in your board so that it is in line with both sides of your board. So I'm going to make sure mine is in there again. And... It rests nicely so that, oh, well, I got to get it up one so it's in the right spot, so that the pin is on both sides of the board. So what is happening now is, so when I flip the switch, it is going to send, the power is coming up here, the power goes here, and right now it stops because it doesn't have anything to connect to. When I flip these switches to on, power is going to go across to my LEDs. I've just set up four LEDs. You could make your switches do a number of things, but basically it's like a gate to control your electricity. So then my gate, when I flip the switch on, is going to provide power. Each LED, positive leg. Remember, our current is going positive. So I have to put my positive legs of my LED, one in each row. Then the negative legs of my LED are going to the negative, negative arm of the other side of the circuit. See the negative arm? Now, here's what happens. I turn it on, and when I come over here, and I've got my power on, I flip my switch nothing is happening oh my goodness what has happened well here is what's happened guys I haven't created a complete circuit so I've got my powers coming up here my powers going across over to here I'm gonna actually have this switch on so you guys can see what it is and you might have to my uh, dip switch doesn't stay in real well so you might have to hold yours down a little bit um, so my dip switch, I've got it in the on position, but my lights aren't coming on. So what's happening is my power is going across, should be going through just this left LED or this far LED, right? The power is on, my, my current is going through, it hits the negative. But what's wrong is I haven't completed the circuit because now I'm going down here. I don't have anything else to bring it back to my battery to complete the circuit. So what I need to do is I need to jump. So I'm just going to do this right in the middle just to show you guys how to do this. I'm just going to jump my power. I got to jump my negative arm back over to my negative arm. And when I do that, and I got to push my LED down just a little bit, turn this on. And there it is. So now I've got power coming through my LED. So then when I flip on the second one, my second light comes on. My third light is a little harder to see. I did the ultraviolet one and then my fourth one. So I have all four of my LEDs. So then I can turn them off one at a time. And I have got my, oh, oh, let me get that one off. There it is. A little hard to get. That is how you use your dual inline package or dip switch.